Yeah, let's I'll, do I'll, it. I'll be, yeah. I'll be kind. Okay, and, and thank quick. you. I'll, thank I'll you. try. I'll try. I'll do my best. I, I appreciate. I appreciate the uh, consideration. Now, Espen yeah. Willems of Mana Lord recently returned, conquering hero from a uh, round of North American touring with Fire Breathing. Yeah. Uh, as, right. as discussed, uh, not your first time on the road with Fire Breather, but Fire Breather's first time in this on the road in the states, right? That is right. That is correct. And it was it was beautiful to see. Actually, I I loved it. Yeah, they seem to seem to be loved as well. So yeah, it felt like a really good touring package. Yes, yeah. Their uh, their new record is is fantastic. I I'm not surprised they would go over. Uh, no, I agree. I absolutely yeah. agree. It's amazing. Now, was it a was it a touring, obviously, with a band you know, uh, like that, who you know, you go way back with? Uh, did that kind of make it easier to get back into a groove on the road in 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 America because it's been a while at this point? That's a really good question, which means I don't know how to answer it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Take your time, man. We're in no rush here. Yeah. yeah. We're all friends. It's all good. Casual. Yeah. Casual. Casual friends. Yes. Casual. Um, it was, I mean, I haven't thought of it that way, mm -hmm. um, but, but I guess so. Yeah. I mean, we've, it's the third tour with them, I think um and they've it's always been really good traveling with them and same same thing now but not bad at all and we've we we this is the first time in the u.s we um we toured with the crew we were having now with, which is a bit extended from what what it's been before okay there were eight people the the monolord circus is eight people in total now okay. which it's an amazing crew and that that has made all the difference for us. Fire Breather traveled separately as you usually, usually do in these packages. Uh, but I, I mean, the short answer would be yes. <laughs> tell me about, Sorry. no, 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 that's, that's good. Uh, tell me about the crew. Does that include someone doing like front of house sound? It does. Tra traveling yeah. with your own sound guy? Yes, exactly. We have Chris on front of house and we have Ola, which is our TM tour manager. And okay. for those of you that don't know what a tour manager is, it's kind of the, the spider in the net that does everything 24-7. Yes. Uh, uh, he, he sleeps a little bit, but almost not. <laughs> so he, he works like crazy. And we have Javi, who is our stage, stage tech and pretty much does everything as well. Uh, John on merch and Nate uh, that drives us everywhere. That so is, amazing. That is a crew. That is a crew. How does it? I, I well, didn't forget anyone, right? No, hope not. Yes. Oh. Anyway, it'll, it'll pop up. Yeah, enjoy anyway. that. Enjoy yeah. that coffee. Uh, yeah, so, thank you. Well, it's yeah. No, that that's not the first part of the day, is it? No, I mean no. it's afternoon here. So yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's just gotta, gotta be stay awake. Three o'clock, two o'clock. I don't know. Three o'clock. Yes. That's See right. the time. The time changed in the states. They they switched the that the hours. We do this thing, daylight savings time. It's a wreck. It's a wreck. I never. Yeah, know. Same, same here, and I yeah. fucking hate it. No, but it's I terrible. heard that you, the U.S. is going to permanent <laughs> summer time thing. They right? say that. They Isn't say it? that shit every year. They say, oh. that, they say that shit every year. It's oh. like, we're going to get rid of this. It's awful. And it is. No, it's, awful. That, it's awful. But It is awful. It, it makes no point whatsoever. I mean, everyone's tired and everyone hates everything yeah. a little more right. than the day before. So, yeah, yeah. Right. Amazing. That's it. That's it. Just Good idea. Everyone, let's inconvenience everybody for a week. With, with my... <laughs> anyway. Exactly. anyway. 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 I'm sorry. No, good no, no. It's here. good. I'm, je I'm just jealous of the coffee. Um. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm keep it I'm keep it hid. It's okay. No, no. Fly that flag, fly it proudly. <laughs> uh, just because I finished mine. Because I got uh, off 
That's this it. this morning, four forty in the morning. Uh, Fuck. Yeah, four forty. That is not okay. It was. It's quarterly review, man. It's got to be done. Oh yeah, yeah. ten records sure. a day. Boom. All you have all my respect. That's I'm an idiot. Insane. That's I'm an not idiot. morning. No, you're not. It's uh, it's it's stupid. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Traveling with a crew. Yeah. How much does that feel like a luxury? Coming like, did you've been doing it for a while now in Europe? I assume, right? Not That's, with this big of a crew. We've had a crew for a while, yes, but yeah, not not this bigger crew. No, uh, okay. we've the, the the tour we did in uh, last fall winter ish uh, in Europe was the first time with a little bit bigger crew. Yeah, okay. uh, it feels like an insane luxury, and it also feels necessary. Yeah, <laughs> uh, because it's I mean touring is stupid it's so it's it's if you haven't toured it's almost impossible to impossible to describe what touring is because it's fucking insane and we usually play shows almost every day of the week we've uh, now we're now aiming at having one one every monday off <laughs> um but but still it's really intense and everything happens at once and it's really really crazy so having a crew is has become necessary for us to be able to do this without burning out, to be honest. Right. But being used to not having this big of a crew or big for us, it's it's such a luxury. I mean, it's crazy. It feels so good. <laughs> so, also, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's also a question of, you know, playing bigger shows, pulling in enough money to support that crew, right? I mean, that's obviously it's obviously huge yeah. for you guys to be able to do that. That's awesome. Uh, congratulations. That's amazing. It feels really good. Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you you mentioned the the european tour that was with blackwater holy light right yes it was that and um they're fantastic and you've toured with them before as well so yeah exactly kind of as you're as you're stepping out you're you are you're keeping a little bit familiar people around that's it that makes sense um what are yeah what are your plans for the rest of this year we don't know um it's really uncertain at this point because of everything i mean still because of the pandemic basically a yeah. lot of things has happened during the pandemic and now it's halfway over i think we think um this yeah. week <laughs> this week it's over yeah <laughs> everything's kind of a gray area but a lot of things a lot of things during the pandemic affected a lot of things that's still happening a lot of after effects of uh, everything from vinyl production times to everything else i mean everything is everyone is starting to tour at once now <laughs> yes. so uh, all dates on all venues everywhere all over the planet are booked so everything is really it's either locked in or, or you'll have to wait another year because then then start to open up again right. um yeah so it's, we don't really know we're working on it we're okay. working on what we more we're, we're, how we're gonna spend the rest of the year mm -hmm. let's see at least one more tour and that's that announcement is coming but yeah new music is always being worked on so yeah but nothing nothing really nothing really clear at the moment right. it's, it's it's getting clear clearer by the day but yeah that sounds I'm exhausting right that sounds exhausting it's uh it is i mean it it, is. you think about you know you think about an album cycle right i mean which you guys yeah i guess kind of got to do with no comfort right and then and that a yeah, little it was yeah, a little it was kind of cut in half yeah. And exactly, exactly that uh, that album cycle you're talking about, album yeah. touring, album that cycle, yeah. that's kind of been broken in a thousand pieces and being redefined by everyone, not mm -hmm. just us, but everyone. And that's kind of part. That's kind of part of why it's so uncertain. I mean, we're still in the mindset of, hey, let's make more music. Hey, let's go on tour again. Let's let's keep this going. Um, yeah, let's enjoy what we what we do but how we're gonna do that is really uh 
I'm sorry I'm being so vague. But no, it, no, it's no, really, no. It, it makes, really it makes sense at what the you're moment. saying. It's kind of, yeah. It's no, kind it of, makes sense. Um, it's a lot of re, redefining things I mean, on a lot of levels. That's, in, that's incredibly interesting, too, because, I mean, you're right, you know, and, and I think of it the same way. It's it's album tour, album tour, album tour, you know, and, and especially yeah. for a band like you guys who, who draw, let's, uh, you know, it's, you know, a band doesn't draw, who cares, right? But, you know, a band who, who's going to bring people in, there is that model that now, what do you do with, you know? Um, so, yeah. I mean, you can see bands trying new things, trying different things. Some are putting out singles instead of albums, kind of piecemealing toward a record. Others yeah. are, I've seen a lot of shorter tours, you know, yeah. like uh, two weeks instead of six, you know, two yeah. weeks at this time, two weeks at this time, two weeks at this time, breaking it up, which feels to me at least like taking a little bit less of a risk outright, right? Because yeah. if you have to cancel, you know, I'm going cancel in two weeks. So Exactly. Yeah, uh, that, that makes sense. I mean, we did the same on the on the Blackboard Hole Live Tour with in uh, November, December last year. I mean, we had it was almost four weeks. I think the tour was supposed to be, and in total, about a week was canceled. Yeah, uh, and that's a lot on a tour uh, to cancel like a a quarter of the tour. Yeah, not happening. And for them flying over from from the US and staying in Europe for one extra week with everything because everything still costs money every day. So yeah, yeah, I agree. And same thing with releases. A lot of, I've seen a lot of bands not releasing vinyl at all, just recently releasing it on cassette and CD, digital. And then maybe there will be a, some yeah. kind of uh, right. vinyl something. Right. Vinyl <laughs> later, the, uh, right? right? Vinyl yeah. later. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Later. Yes. That's going to be the special. For the, save it for the reissue. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And I get that. I get that. I mean, if you want to get an album out now and you're you're getting the word back from the factory that hey, it's going to take 12 months. I mean, that's uh, that's really <laughs> that's a long time hard to, to build something. Yeah. That's a long time to sit. Yeah. Yeah. And within those 12 months, I mean, a lot of things have happened when it comes out. So, yeah. I completely get finding new ways. Like we all have, I guess. Right. At the same time, it's exhausting, like you say, but it's also kind of intriguing. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like things being a kind of turned upside down every once in a while. I'm too restless, I guess. But yeah, I think it's it's a good thing. Okay. Rebuilding and redefining are good. Those are good things. How do you usually. see? How do you see Monolord rebuilding that part of? what you do how you function oh that's a big question how we function yeah <laughs> how we mal malfunction well uh, whichever uh, yeah <laughs> the combination of the two <laughs> um i don't know i mean i i honestly don't know i'm we're in the middle of that process i mean musically i think we'll we'll continue on the same path we've done up to, until now like just exploring and refining, redef sometimes redefining what we are. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think that will change as that much. Um, I think we'll still continue to make music with the mindset of keeping keeping the the frames as loose as possible and exploring whatever pops up. Uh, so the redefining part, I think, is more of the the boring business side of everything, the right. logistics of everything. But everything ties together, uh, certainly. Yeah, okay. sure, of course, I mean, of course it does. Yeah, yeah. and out of the, the 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 structure of things, I don't know. I mean, we're we we really are in the middle of trying to understand what the new normal is or will will be, and yeah. where our place in that will be. Uh, we'll still continue making music and touring uh, but it'll probably not have the same cycles and same shapes as it did before mm -hmm. but that doesn't have to be bad it could be like you say shorter tours different formats we release on different cycles uh yeah we'll, we'll just try to keep an open mind right now 
trying to understand like the rest of the yeah. music business right like, like hey it. what's happening right like everybody like everybody's everything yes fair um yeah <laughs> you get so you get home from tour uh yeah. do you take a day or are you in the studio immediately i'm in the studio you personally immediately. yeah me me yes yeah i am yeah if, because i like i said i'm restless and i that's a good way to just get going i mean uh i don't know if it's good or bad but that's the way i function or mm-hmm. almost function and then there's the jet lag so usually a good way for me is just force myself into the whatever the daily rhythm is where i where i land same thing when i go on tour especially in the u.s like just stay up until it's nighttime in the u.s and then just fall into a coma and sleep and hopefully the next day i'm somewhat normal again right yeah right works when you're 20 yeah yeah <laughs> doesn't i'm almost 50 and it doesn't work but doesn't, doesn't nothing work. works when you're no. almost 50 so I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i know that i know that's that okay. method that method used to be great for me yeah that's right yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> what are you working on in the studio right now? Uh, right now, a lot of mastering, actually. Uh, so yeah, mastering albums. Okay. Uh, and I have a few side projects I'm trying to finish, and I have a recording coming up, and Heavy Hops is still rolling one episode a week, and yeah, bits and pieces of everything. Mm-hmm all kinds of sound slower speaking of the side projects right as uh, lower yeah lower not as opposed to i hope i i hope when i said it it actually came out sounding like the slayer logo because it it did exactly good it it sounded exactly that way that way it's perfect perfect. right that way it's perfectly clear what i'm talking about and you don't say think for a second that i'm just asking you to speak slower um (laughs) Perfect. Good. But glad, I will. Glad yeah. we understand each other. So slower. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it is a it is a slow Slayer project. Bob Balch yes. is a madman, and uh, it's Bob Balch. You and uh, hmm. as of right now, it's Laura Pleasant on vocals. Okay. And bass player will be announced. I think uh, it's going to be one or two people. Uh, everything is Bob's initiative. He, he basically asked me, "Hey, I have this idea. Want to play drums on this?" And of course, I mean, yes, obviously, yes. yeah. It's it's a real fun project. So yeah, so that's it's 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 lower in every aspect. The, the actual process of, of the project is really slow as well. But it's also a side quest for all of us. Just having right. fun right it that's is. gonna be great I'm, I'm really stoked about it i'm so, i'm actually when i get the time i'm starting to mix that a little bit hmm. uh, but not everything is recorded so bit okay. by bit we'll get there sure it's gonna be great i i can only imagine uh that that's uh, gonna be fun at least uh, yeah it's gonna be that's gonna be a good time slower slower Absolutely. um and hey, I don't know if you knew this, but last year, uh, you guys, Monolord, put out the best album that you have yet made. Uh, I don't know if you knew Thank that. Thank you. But it's true. Now. Now I know. Good. Now, um, you're probably about a decade removed from Empress Rising, right? At least in terms of the writing it, not releasing it uh that's around, that came, around 2012 2013 2013 came out in 2013 late, late no 2014 we recorded and yeah okay. late 2013 i think okay. years and dates and stuff yeah no it's <laughs> but cool, yeah man. okay so <laughs> let's uh look back a little bit sure. and thinking of your time to shine. 
give me your take on the the direction that monolore has taken because you, you mentioned before you know ideas of of exploring new things sometimes reinventing the band you you are but also sort of building on building on these these elements of things you've done before talk to me about monolord's growth over this time um uh i we we get we get that question a lot like the, the album we're releasing is being compared to the last one mm -hmm. and often the comments are well, that it's a really big sidestep to what we've sounded like before uh and i i always always feel like I understand it from the outside, but from the inside, it doesn't feel that way at all. And that's the, that's the same feeling I have with the process and the growth or whatever word you want to put on it uh, with us as our band. Because for me, it feels like Empress Rising was, was like, that was last week. It really was. It was uh, time flies, like, like with a kid. Hey, you were two weeks old like 45 minutes ago and now you're seven what's happening right. and it's the same same process with with this it doesn't feel it feels really far away and at the same time it does feel really close and it feels like it feels like we're the same band but more of it if that makes sense mm -hmm. now than we was and uh, when we re recorded Imprecising. For me, the biggest difference is that when we recorded Empress Rising, when we wrote the material and recorded that album, we kind of became a band during that process. Hmm. Because the whole band faded into existence from a side project that really wasn't anything but a, just a jam project without a name. We just had for fun right. on the side of another band. Yeah. Um, and when the the bass player from the other band that was part of this project before it became Monolord, he decided to go in another direction and we met Mika. Uh, that it's I don't exactly remember the the time frame of everything, but it came into existence about the same time. It came, we met Mika, it felt like, oh, this is it. now it's a band. It really feels like this is about this is something to build on at the same time at, as we were making the music and recording it and all of a sudden there was an album and we were almost we were a band but not really <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> it's kind of hey we have this and it's released and people like it oh, Fuck, it's, shit, it's crazy yeah, yeah. um <laughs> and it, 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 i mean the biggest difference is that we now we really feel like a band right now you know you're <laughs> That's, a band Right. Exactly. Uh, but I can still connect to that feeling of being, hey, so this is kind of temporary. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that's really, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Right. Not right. at all. I, I even I even think it's a good good element because that that kind of, for me at least, it, it unlocks the 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 mind from having ideas of what this bad exactly should be. Right. Um. And again, that's a really that's a really vague reply, but because it, it's really hard to frame the it's really hard to describe what I feel the process has been like. It's uh, it hasn't felt like it's been separated into albums. It right. doesn't feel like it's been uh, like a crooked uh, way of detours. It, it feels kind of a straight straightforward uh, path for us. Not, not pre-decided. Well, it kind of has been. I mean, uh, at least up to at least up to pandemic. I mean, okay. Yeah. First of all, I love that it's a real band when Mika comes in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> because you know what? I hear Mika's bass tone. I'm like, fuck, that's a band. Yeah. So there you yeah, go. Yeah, nice. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I agree, a hundred percent. So yeah. Uh, but I mean even from empress rising on i mean you guys put out an album i guess decided you were a band and then hit the road right <laughs> yeah. and and you were on tour, you were on tour and then you were on tour and then you were on tour and then you put out another record and then you were on tour tour on tour and then 
and so on and so forth right in that album cycle that now needs yeah. to be restructured um so it you know i think it seemed like it seemed like mono lord was all on the same page really quickly like the three the three of you guys were all on the same page really quickly about what you wanted as a group was that not the case it, yes it was okay. uh, it was the case yeah, yeah absolutely okay uh, but yeah it was i i think we uh, um yeah we we were and we still are uh i mean fortunate uh yes of course um fuck this is hard to describe i i've i think one part being that we were even though it's 10 years ago we were still old in this business 10 years ago mm -hmm. even older in this business now uh but we've done we've played in so many bands and so many projects and so many genres over the years all of us so we realize that this doesn't happen often if at all so we really had the, the had that in common in the band and of course we like what we do uh, so those two really basic simple factors is i think that's what what keeps this band going mm -hmm. uh we know how lucky we are basically and we want to make the best of that uh yeah sounds maybe naive or basic but it's kind of it's kind of the core of of what we do we love to play music and we happen to be able to play music with uh play the music we like with two other people we like to play with uh super hard and super easy at the same time no i it mean sounds so easy. right it, that's it, sounds, it. It's sounds a, like yes. i'm saying hey that's the recipe right, hey. right. it's a, it's a it's a short <laughs> sentence that speaks paragraphs is what it is because you're absolutely <laughs> okay. right like finding finding that dynamic in a band is well you said it it's it's incredibly rare right that it that, is yeah that three people four people two people click yeah even you know and and you know, you guys have, have kept this lineup for a decade now and you have, have, you know, you have toured together, you have put records out together, you, you know, you have played huge festivals and tiny fucking shows and this and that, you know, you now have this common experience of the, of the band to build on and to continue to build on in, in some <laughs> pandemic affected new way. It's, it's. I hope so. It's crazy. Know, yeah. Yes it's it's incredibly fortunate and, and speaking of someone who who listens to monolord incredibly fortunate uh so yeah man it's 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 a, it's a special thing for sure um so you don't know what's coming the rest of this year what do you do while you're well i guess you work in the studio right to take care of that you, you've said a couple times extra restless hit the studio is that is yeah. that what you do is that how you cope with not knowing uh no that's not how i cope maybe that's how i cope with life in general <laughs> i'm really bad at just sitting still i mean I, i'm not i'm not good with that at all uh well you're a drummer yeah exactly yeah yeah <laughs> no, my son um, also a drummer yeah yeah there, there you go yeah absolutely yeah um no i think the i i get what you're asking i think we we struggle with the same things that any band does it's really hard to make ends meet make a living off of a band of course. of course and we're fortunate to make some money so we can pay some bills playing music in monolord and that's insane to me i'm so happy that we're able to do that yes but it's not a full-time income it's a triple time job <laughs> but the income is not <laughs> doesn't right. really <laughs> correspond no. to that <laughs> yes it's not commensurate with the, with exactly. the efforts put yeah. in yes i understand so we we have to make ends meet some other ways in between tours of course Right. alongside working with the band so yeah we do that in, in all kinds of ways the studio is one thing for me 
Sure. And I also love being here. I mean, I'm I'm able to sit in this space and work with sound and and people pay me money to do it. That's amazing. That's also amazing. So of course I want to do that as much as possible. Right. Yeah. And uh, I think last time we talked, the studio was still the the studio space was still pretty pretty new. Uh, now that you're now that you're I mean at least newly yours. Uh, yeah. Now that you're settled in a little bit more, how much does how much does it feel like home? A lot. Yeah. Very much. I mean, I'm every weekday I'm here. I I drop my kid off at school, I go here, and then I go back and pick him up after school. And that's basically my my routine. And I love it. I love that routine. I think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it feels like it really does feel like home. There's a lot of things I I wanna do still, but that's kind of a uh, Forty-year like project, I guess. Like what? But um, have you seen these kind of red uh, divider things on the walls back here? Mm -hmm. That's one thing. <laughs> get rid of them. You get oh, rid yeah, of them, or you put them? Yeah. And another repainting. A lot oh. of repainting. A lot of uh, aesthetics. I want to change a lot in here. Okay. And I'm going to rebuild some um, acoustic stuff as well. I'm going to. I'm going to switch some gear and yeah, but that's, that's a really long, tedious and expensive process. So one, one tiny piece at a time. Sure. That's, yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's fun. That's a good thing. Right. Right. And you, you know, build as you go. That's fine. I'm mm -hmm. doing a kitchen the same way right now. Uh, yeah, exactly. There you go. Over the next, over the next 25 years. Yeah, perfect. Some, someday we'll get the lights. No in the someday we'll get the lights in the ceiling. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Monolord Coffee, how'd it turn out? Yes, really good. And yeah. I'm so happy. But I'm, That's good. yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's perfect. Uh, it was both thanks to the people that made it. Uh, Black Forge, I think was was the name. Um, also, Thomas, who described what what kind of coffee we like, they really interpret that spot on. It's mm -hmm. it's perfect. Nice. I love it. Nice. Yeah, medium roast. Medium roast. Yeah, it's really good. It's good. Get man. All the flavors. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I think dark roast can be a little bit too burnt and a little bit too acidic at times. I agree. I'm not a big fan of that. So it's medium good. roast. That's perfect. It's really good. I agree. I have but a strong. Yes. Yes. I have a. Yes. Uh, I have a dark roast blend that i like yeah that is that is specifically low acid and it kind of nice kind of gives you the 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 hard dirt without the without the burn um but, but that sounds interesting yeah okay next next time next time you come to new york i'll give you i'll bring a bag um oh please do but i have but i do a medium roast i do a medium roast blend as well that that yeah and it's you know you find that it's like a, it's like a, a medium medium well egg, right? You can you want to get the yolk just perfect. I feel like a good medium <laughs> roast, a good medium roast has is just just right. You know, it's, it's yeah, tricky. Yeah. It's tricky. I get it. It's tricky. It is tricky. It is the sweet yeah. spot. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad it worked out. Uh, I'm gonna let you go uh, before I do any any ideas of when uh monolord is going to be writing again or or you know work actively working on new material because i assume you know riffs and ideas come up all the time but uh uh very soon i mean we we it's been a constant and we always have a few ideas right. cooking always right. it's, it's not been like we're we've been dormant with anything uh right now we're taking a little bit easy after tour but we'll soon start working again and planning for new stuff and trying like we spoke about before trying to define what's happening up ahead <laughs> <laughs> and new music is going to be a part of that of course so soon very soon good and 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 i'll look forward to slower as well uh espen willems of monolord Studio Berserk. 
I don't know, Gothenburg's house drummer. Thank you so much for uh, <laughs> for chatting with me this morning. I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, but, thank you. But, but thank you. This uh, this is you're just great. Hang on a second. You there too.